Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Crypto Takeover coming back with another video again for y'all this evening. And today we are going to be looking at the Bitcoin charts. Same thing. Uh, we had the uh, recent spike back up over uh, 8k. We hit about 81, 81.50. And we're going to just see what uh, Market Cipher might be telling us. So if y'all are brand new to this channel, we use Market Cipher, the Market Cipher Indicator by CryptoFace on this channel. And if that sounds interesting to y'all, we're going to see whether or not Bitcoin can make a run back up to where it previously dumped off at, or if we're going to have a little bit of consolidation here for right now. So please stick around, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that we all can be updated every single video that I make. Let's get to, let's get it started. All right, so we're on our 15 minute time frame right now. We can see that we did finally move into our green area of our money flow. We did have our red money flow consistently just dumping here uh sending us down to those under 7k level um it's interesting how we stopped right here at this fib level i think that's the 618 if i'm not mistaken uh so we stopped right at the 618 had a little bit of a bounce there right now we're kind kind of moving into this uh this other uh fib area right now so we can tell that our 15 minutes kind of given us a little bit more of a bullish sentiment as well as our 30 minute and our 45 minute. So what I'm curious about is that um, how how long is it going to take us for us to move into this green area on our one hour? Um, and can we sustain in that green money flow area uh, going into our one hour? Currently trending up above our, t our 21 EMA uh, all the way from our... 15 minutes or one hour so that's a nice little bullish sign there as well too you we can see that when our new candle body opened we had the VWAP that was now acting as support for us as well I would think that based on this one hour we could definitely definitely see a move up to that 8300 area uh, for Bitcoin to retest this one uh, 100 EMA right now this is getting a little bit of resistance at the 50 EMA on our one hour as well then let's take a look at our two hour two hour we uh, haven't quite made it up above that 21 EMA yet it does look like we're trying to get above it as of right now so that's another little bullish sign for us as well but as we kind of zoom out here we're gonna we still have a lot of our EMAs that are still trending downward right now um, and it's going to be probably a little while before we start to see some of those uh, bullish, cross, bull, bullish crosses that happen there. And then going into our four hour, we can also tell that uh, our money flow does look like it's want, it wants to start to head into that uh, greenish territory as well. But still trending below our 21 EMA uh, as we speak as, um, for the time being right now. If y'all are interested, y'all can sign up for the newsletter that I give away uh, weekly. Uh, every once in a while, I'll do, uh, I'll get, I'll give uh, private videos to my newsletter as well too. I do giveaways. Please be signed up for the newsletter if y'all want to be qualified for the giveaways, and uh, y'all can join us in there. Also, I have the Patreon group that y'all can join as well in order to get the private signals and become a private signals member you can join the patreon group as well so feel free to check that out the discord group is free to join um, but the private channel in there is only for the patreon group as well and then i have the telegram group that is also free to join so if y'all are interested in that please uh feel free to stop by and join me in there also, I use the TradingView Pro Plus plan. If y'all want to upgrade TradingView Pro Plus, feel free to use that link in the description box below to help support the channel. And then once we get into our six hour here, six hour is still giving us a pretty nice uh, thick uh, money flow or red money flow as of right now. It's uh, still very far away from our EMAs. And we'll turn off our Cypher SR kind of get into the eight hour eight hour just had a buy signal there so starting to see somewhat of a little bit of a trend reversal maybe some consolidation before our next move that happens eight hour money flow is still um, in the red right now as well maybe looking for 
Um, a little bit of a curvature here too as well. 12 hour, getting our buy signal on a 12 hour, which is also another bullish sign for us as well. So we could be making some moves back up, but I still think that this money flow on our 12 hour is going to be trending more into the red here, probably within the next couple of weeks or so. Going on into March, we're gonna see some um, interesting price action by BTC. So one day sell has signaled as well. No sign of reversal there yet. Money flow is still kind of trending into that reddish area as of right now. And then in our three day, pretty much the same. I did want to go back to our one day and see some of the EMAs. So um, 200, EM, 200 daily EMA, we are holding below support. Uh, it is acting as resistance for us now. So we pretty much did that same thing that happened back here for us. Um, when we had the China pump, we had this recent pump back up to that 10.5 area, almost the 10.6 area, and then continued to sell off, looking to retest that 200 daily moving average, but we broke back down through it. So that is no longer holding us as support. Then once we get into our three day, we might even be coming back down to retest this 200 moving average as well. So right now, uh, things, it could be a little bit of a relief rally as of right now, but our higher time frames are still telling us that uh, BTC uh, doesn't look as healthy as we would like it to look. Um, but, you know, that is given with the coronavirus and everything that's happening within the stock markets right now. Um, things are just not all around 100% healthy right now, so we just need to be uh, aware of this and uh, we, we can do things about this, like shorting the market when we have the opportunity to. So uh, if y'all are interested in just buying and holding, that's obviously an option too, but you might have to wait a few years and that's, if that's your goal, then that's perfectly fine. Um, I would recommend getting some cold storage, like a Ledger Nano X or S, and you can just buy and hold for the time being right now <laughs> but use the link in the description box below to help support the channel i think ledger is giving away a free ledger nano s whenever you buy x right now so you can um, find that link in the description box below then also uh, we use bybit for my paid signals group so feel free to find the bybit link down in the description box below contact support, ask them how to access the test net, make sure that you're a prof profitable trader, make sure that your algorithms are working for you, and then you can come trade with us. If you are a USA citizen, then you can use Prime XBT, which allows you to trade a bunch of different commodities, such as the S&P 500, gold and silver, some different fiat currencies, all using Bitcoin, so pretty cool. And then, <laughs> I don't know why this timed out the Brave browser link Okay, I use Brave Browser to browse the web. I get paid out in BAT token every month by using the Brave Browser. So if y'all are interested in getting paid in BAT token, feel free to check out that Brave Browser link in the description box below. And then also I use the CryptoTab browser to mine Bitcoin straight from my computer. I use it on two other laptops that I don't really um, have any use for, and I just have it as a uh, background running process and it helps me mine Bitcoin. So you can check out CryptoTab Browser to help support the Bitcoin network and also make some passive income on the side too. You can also use it on tablets and phones as well. So feel free to check that link down in the description box below. And then I have the Instagram page that y'all can follow me on, which isn't pulling up, but then I also have uh, Twitter that y'all can follow me on there as well too. But feel free to message me on Discord if you have any questions. Usually I'll respond on Discord pretty quickly. And we're just going to finish off with the charts here. So our five-day money flow is still kind of rounding just a tad bit. And then even on our six-day, um, it do, does kind of look like we've topped out here just a tad bit, given our red dot that we had with a little bit of a trigger wave forming and our sell signal that has formed as well. But you can see that we've stopped right here at our um, oh, it's not the 618, it's actually the 0.5 uh, Fib line. So our 0.618 Fib line would probably be about 7100-ish area. 
but we could just trend at our 0.5. This is our golden pocket area actually. So we could be just trending into our golden pocket area as of right now, which is a, you know, a pretty good accumulation area if you ask me. But it does look like we're trending in our golden pocket at the 0.5 level in between the 0.5 and the uh, 0.382. So that's a good indication that um, you know, we could we could see some consolidation which would be healthy for us and then start to make a move at whatever direction Bitcoin decides to move. So I'll be keeping my Patreon members up to date with that. Um, I know that we killed it on this last short that we were in. Y'all can go look at the profit logs that we have in there, but uh, we definitely killed it on our profit logs in here and stuff too. So we have our testimonies and our profit logs and our, our guy Pike here. I came out with 277% profit. Uh, you know, <laughs> this is like it's it's pretty insane but um we we called this bottom and i know crypto face really he thought we were going bullish but from my signs and being consistent looking at the markets every day we can really tell that uh the trend was still down so our boy pike over here pike 379 was was uh making some nice trades um so feel free to come check it out on discord if y'all are interested in that and then um we can see that our weekly also getting that sell signal there and then as we go into our monthly time frame uh, we do have this outlined red candle right now maybe indicating a little bit of a doji to see what happens next month in um in april so with that being said y'all i want to thank y'all for coming back to the channel Please like, comment, subscribe, check out the notification or click the notification bell so that we all can be updated every single video that I make. Check out all the links in the description box below. Join me on the Patreon page and the VIP signals group, and I will check in with y'all again later. CTO signing out.